You're listening to SoFloRadio.com. Recently, I had the opportunity to do the closing theme music for a short comedy film called The Ducks, written by my friend Rick Santis in Florida. <laughs> Welcome to Rick's show on the radio with some really exciting stuff going on. Today we introduce a, a brand new phase in the show here, for, probably for SoFlo Radio too, right George? Uh, well, we've never done anything quite this ambitious before. Right. Uh, we're going to be playing some live music, uh, like over the Skype, over the Skype airways. And that was it until like... 15 years later. I remember that gig, I think. I think you, I was playing with you then. Well, actually, it was, a, it was a job in Latrobe I had played when I was like 19 years old. Oh, no, never mind. That wasn't it. Yeah. Uh, you'd have been about four. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I did join the band when I was six, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were, dar- you were darn good for an elementary kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had the haircut, too. I, I strove for that. You, know, you always had a good haircut. You Thanks, always, you always had that over me. Yeah, and I always had nice shoes too. Do you remember? I was always a oh, shoe. oh, absolutely. Yeah, and there is, you know, before we we part today, there is a funny story that I have to relate. There's many about you carrying a car battery in in the winter time, uh, in a place we lived up in Johnstown. Okay, <laughs> that that still makes me laugh to this day. Uh, I don't th- I don't even remember that. But uh, do you want to? You, you will. Okay. You will. Well, tell us, tell us a story. Everybody's waiting to hear that one. I'm sure Shar is waiting to hear of it. Well, you were you were not used to winter at all, and <laughs> winter was a, a rough time of the year for you. And you had a, a an old green Volkswagen that had oh, a six yeah. volt battery. That's how old the car was, <laughs> and the car wasn't starting. So you decided you put your jacket on. You decided you're going to take the battery out. Mm-hmm. And we had a, a workshop in the basement. And we had a battery charger downstairs. Oh yeah. So yeah, and it's coming back to you. Yeah, it is. So you come in carrying the battery. No, nothing out of the ordinary. Put the battery downstairs on the on the charger, and you hung your coat up. <laughs> and the next day, the only thing left of your coat was the metal zipper in the front. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the, the battery acid exploded had, when you had the battery up against you carrying it had eaten through the, the coat and in the interest of fair play I had never seen that happen either so I didn't know what was going on either but I'll, I'll never I'll never forget that of course you had to go, go out and get a new jacket yeah I, you know as a segue to that story before we get back into guitars there my little green Volkswagen bus which I drove all the way from Philadelphia to uh, Pittsburgh area, Johnstown, Pennsylvania, with our singer back then, who was Richard Shelter. So if Richard Shelter's listening, I would love for him to call in here at at 954-990-0036. Any old friends of Dave and I want to call in at that number, you can call in and talk to us. But uh, you said i do not really used to the winters up there, especially in the mountains in Johnstown. So I parked my little VW... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> next to the house there that we were renting for what like 40 bucks a month i think that's what it cost for our no it was 120 dollars a month that we rented this beautiful house yeah and it started snowing and it started snowing and then the plows came by and they started clearing the streets and sloshing and and what happened was that by i got this great picture of my volkswagen where you could just see the barely see the very top of it and i did not have access to my volkswagen until spring thaw <laughs> That's not something you got to worry about so much in Florida. Well, and, and one more quick sidebar to that car, and uh, it, it's a wonder you're still here. We lived on top of the hill in, in this suburb of Johnstown, and to get to anything on the main drag was a steep oh, downhill yeah. descent. Right to a big, big Z intersection. And you and you didn't really have brakes on it. The only way you stopped that thing was by pulling up on the emergency <laughs> brake. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah. Uh, the fact and, that you're still here driving exactly. a big Volkswagen is a, is a testament, testament to, to my driving ability because it's a stick <laughs> shift. And <I'm, laughs> yeah. yeah, going down sideways down the hill. Yeah, it's a, yeah. that's quite, quite the vehicle. I don't know what other uh, limb I use to operate the handbrake while adjusting the, uh, the clutch at the same time, but I, I manage it somehow. 
Yeah, <laughs> and plus it didn't have a heater, so it was kind of like, like the total package for you. Yeah. yeah was a... All right, so here's another thing that I'd like to say about, um, well, I want to say this about our show, right? uh, SoFloRadio.com, and in particular Rick's show on the radio, which all along has been sponsored by a and I, which is the, my company along with my friend Char Fromhoff, and that's our mutual friend. And the reason I want to bring her up now is because uh, Dave and I have been friends. We have a long history uh, together. We used to we met uh, back in the '70s and started rehearsing in uh, the Fromhoff family garage, and we were there for a long time until finally they kicked us out. <laughs> But uh, we grew a really great friendship there. And uh, so I just want to say th uh, thanks to Char and hello. And um, I hope some of these uh, songs and these stories that we show, will uh, you'll, you'll remember some of this stuff here. Uh, Dave, you might not be able to see these pictures. As a matter of fact, I know you can't, but uh, stop on that one, George. There's Remember that picture of us uh, with Char and uh, I look like a girl. I got my little blonde hair. and uh, I got the demented... Uh like bow tie and the uh, waiter's jacket on. I don't know. You got a black shirt on, but you yeah, look, the you really you know. crushed. Uh, yeah. And then the next picture here I got is at Squeeze. Uh, oh and, yeah, yeah. And, and that's with Richard Shelter, and I'm wearing my baseball uniform and playing a Rickenbacker uh, 4001, which I used to actually play with a a metal coin. <laughs> because I wanted it to be really bright, and I still have that metal coin. Believe it or not, it's all worn down. You were, you were like a young Chris Squire. Yeah, I, that's what I wanted. That's why I got yeah. the Rickenbacker. And then I see you're playing a guitar that's like a, like that wooden uh, SG, like a copy of that. I don't think you really liked that guitar. What kind of guitar was that back then? Uh, well, you know, in, in hindsight, as, as compared to how I used to, I really did like Les Pauls. And I got that thing, and it was a Les Paul in, in name only. Right. It, was, it was all walnut. Yeah. The The... The fingerboard was rosewood, but the neck was walnut. The whole body was walnut. Mm -hmm. And walnut is just a totally opposite tone wood. Yeah. If, I'll be generous by saying it's a tone wood. <laughs> and uh, I, I dealt with that guitar for a while, but um, in hindsight, it was not a, not a favorite of mine. Right. Hey, speaking of guitars, I'd like to introduce the world to my favorite guitar, which um, you might not say. I don't know if any can see this too much, but this is a uh, it's called a moon bass. And I've been playing this in this area since the 70s. Um, it's a fretless bass, and I believe it's a one-of-a-kind. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, never found one on the Internet. Somebody came up and wanted to offer me $3,000 for it one time. And it sounds pretty cool. We're going to actually start... We're going to go ahead and do a, play a little bit of uh, music together here and see how that sounds. But uh, uh, another thing about my little fretless bass guitar is that uh, one time I was playing down in uh, Pompano Beach down at the pier, and in walks uh, Jocko Pastorius. I don't know if too many uh, people might know who Jocko Pastorius is unless you're a musician. He's one of the best bass players that ever lived. And he came up and he played my little fretless bass, and I was in awe. And, uh, of course, years later he died, and... Uh, to, I don't know if you know this or not, Dave, but uh, he has two sons that live down here, uh, Julius and I now I can't remember the other guy's name. He's going to be mad at me, but uh, they both play the bass and guitar, and the bass player is just a phenomenal bass player, just like his dad. And when they were done, I got him to play my moon bass on stage, and then they both signed the back of it. I know you can't see it, but. I got their autographs right there on my moon base. So we're going to play a little bit of uh, a little of something here in a little bit. Uh, it, um, it's a segment that I want to do on a radio show, and we're going to call it the train wreck. And the reason I'm going to call it the train wreck is that we're going to play live together. Only you're not here. You're in another state, and we're going to play over Skype. And uh, there's a little bit of a latency issue, which means, you know, <laughs> you know you're, I'm playing like maybe a half a beat behind you, but... We're just going to ignore all that, right, Dave? Absolutely. Yeah, that'll be fun. And I, I really want Richard Shelter to call in. Yeah, me too. And uh, yeah, there, there, there's a little song. Uh, a little song I want to just play for him. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to love that. Uh, <laughs> you want to give us a little background on why you want to 
him to call in and why you played the uh, baseball thing there? <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. if you needle him enough, he'll call in. Oh, gee, yeah. Feel free. Yeah, you got you got a couple dri- minutes. Go ahead, needle. Yeah, he'll he'll drive to PA and seek me out. <laughs> well, tell 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 the story. Oh, he's just uh, uh, an overzealous uh, New York Mets fan. He always has been, uh-huh. and he 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 thinks that they got a chance every year. And uh, the Pirates, the Pittsburgh Pirates, have been doormats for you know three decades, and we finally have a team together. Is that right? And recently, the Mets came in to our bar, our bar park, uh, PNC Park, and uh, swept them. Is that so what happened? So I, I, I kind of, while the while the iron's hot, I kind of wanted to ask Richard about that. Okay. Well, I'm sure Richard has a lot to say about that if he's listening. I'm sure. Yeah. So yeah. call in, Richard. The number is 954-990-0036. And if anybody else is out there wants to call in, maybe Tom McWilliams, good friend of ours. We had some funny stories together there, huh? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right. And another thing, I believe our friend Vince Buffa is slated to call in at uh, three at 4.30. So we'll see if we can get him to call in. Yeah, that would be uh, a, it'd be a nice communication with him. Uh, we, we communicate on Facebook, but uh, it, it would be great if he would call in. All right. So you want yeah. to play a little music and see how this works? I don't even know if it's going to work and when we're going to start or when we're going to stop or anything like that, you know. But don't make it go for more than, like, 30 seconds or else whatever, okay? Oh, uh, okay. Hey, uh, this, I didn't, you know what? I didn't even put a four count on this, on this first thing. I don't care. You start playing, I'll follow you. All right, Dave? That's, what, that's the way we've been doing it all along. I follow okay. you. All right. Well, this is a – we're just toying around with chords. Yep. This, Tell me this which really one. isn't anything. If you want to break into a vocal part, Rick, you're more than... Thanks. You know, I think I'll leave that up to George. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's got that deep baritone voice. He does, you know? yeah. All right. Well, I'll just get this drum beat started. We'll see. Uh, All right. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I, I think in 30 seconds time, we can we can bail out on this. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. Sounds good. All right. I'm going to sneak this goofy uh, organ pedal in then, too. All right. Here we go with the very first edition of... Train wreck on Rick's show and radio. One, two, one, two, three, four. I got it. number one in a couple days yep yep i'm sure it will except for you know i think the train wreck thing definitely worked out because things were cutting in and out there but oh, hey, really? yeah a little bit i don't know that was must have been george's fault because it certainly wasn't our fault right absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> that's right yeah, it, it's never it's it's never us it's that's, the, the, that's the other reason why george is here by the way for offering vocals that's right. i'm the farting dog yes <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes Just everybody farts and then they beat me yeah. Well, what's that, that old saying, Rick? A, a good carpenter always blames his tools. Exactly, exactly. Hey, listen, Dave, I know you sent us a whole bunch of videos of some little short little uh, musical things. Uh, so uh, it'll there's so much variety in the way that you play the guitar, and I think I want to get to that. And uh, why don't you describe a little bit about what you're doing with this, uh, this uh, site called Fandalism, and we'll play a few of those things, all right? Well, Fandalism... It's an offshoot of Facebook. Anybody can, can get the app. Um, a friend of mine, a drummer friend of mine from Altoona, had invited me to check it out. Uh, and I, I'm really kind of leery about apps and everything. But what it did, it allowed m- videos that I would just do here at the house uh, to reach a larger audience than YouTube would. Mm-hmm. And, and you, you, you can interconnect with people and network with people. Um, I'm, I'm currently over 300,000 views 
on, on these little snippets and things that come into my head. Wow. And, and, but there's people that have a million views or two million views, uh, you know, a lot more than I have. But, I, you know, I'm building the, uh, the blocks there. And I've always, and you've known me a long time, I've always just wanted, if I had an idea in my head, I just wanted to wake up, whatever it is, whether it's reggae, mm -hmm. rock and roll, blues, I just wanted to be, be able to lay it down mm -hmm. without restraints or worrying about, is it going to sell? What about the arrangement? Is it danceable? I, I just wanted to, yeah, if it's danceable, my gosh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I do the cover band uh, uh work and i like that a lot but it's nice to lift those constraints yeah and i just wanted to get on there and just play whatever the whatever i wanted to play and my first one was so rough and raw i didn't really know what i was doing i i just played uh an old blues song called uh well actually i played jeff's boogie uh -huh. by jeff beck and i just played a minute 20 seconds of it uh with the camera just focused on this this part of the guitar it was very raw and I got a tremendous response out of it, so hmm. that kind of hooked me. And and I, I don't consciously try to write in different veins. It's just like whatever the mood is sure. on a particular week or if I feel creative, yeah. uh, I just kind of do. Some some of the stuff is serious. Some is tongue-in-cheek. Mm -hmm. uh, but but, it, but it's, it's all meant to be um, uh played well whether it's vocally or, or, or playing wise all right you know, even if i have a western character with a mustache on yeah <laughs> I, i'm still serious about it all right well let's uh let's play one of those i think we got one queued up there unless you have a preference we're going to play soaring is that good oh yeah that's fine all right let's yeah. play that uh we'll play that uh, little piece here uh and then we'll get back to dave here this little piece is called soaring which you can catch on uh dave nichols vandalism page Hey, Dave. Yes, sir. I was jamming with you, man. I heard you. Did you? Cool. Uh, yeah, I, I heard. I heard the bass lines. I think I missed a couple of notes, but uh, I never played a song before, though. But so that's okay. Yeah, blame it's latency. Yeah, it's George's fault. Uh, it's my fault. <laughs> yeah. I was slowing him down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that sounds cool. So, um, so that's all you do is uh, you just uh, pop one of those little things together and stick it on vandalism and get a bunch of 
hits from other musicians, right? Oh yeah, yeah, mostly musicians. Uh, but but a lot of a lot of just uh, non musicians get the app mm -hmm. and and go on there and just listen to uh, whatever they want to listen to. So there's probably about twenty percent of the uh, vandalism hits are non musicians. About eighty percent are musicians. Cool. Yeah. All right. So um, tell us uh, now. Um, you're living up there in uh, Johnstown, Pennsylvania, and you're still playing, right? You got a band, a pretty successful band up there called the Boomers. Yeah, we're we're, uh, we're fortunate. I mean, uh, like every area in the country, uh, things aren't like they used to be. Work is hard to get, and uh, if you can stay busy, you're you're fortunate. So we we've been fortunate. Um, it's not like the heydays of uh, the '70s and the '80s, but you can still still make a go of it. And your overhead and and your travel, hmm. and um, but it, it's still possible to, you know, to be busy with it. Yeah, that sounds like you're being a little humble there, but uh, you know, I think I've heard some things that uh, you guys were voted the best band in the area. Is that right? Well, we were. Well, in 2013, let me just. Uh, I need to clarify that because that's a that's a term that if I heard somebody else use and somebody else wanted, I'd be upset. Um, it, it was uh, Altoona's most favorite. Oh, so that it, it was a nice award. Uh, that means a lot of people liked us. Uh -huh. um, but when you get into like best, that's got you know it's, it, it's like puts a battle of the band's connotation, but we, we did receive the award in uh, 2013, mm -hmm. and um, it was nice to be recognized that, you know, people like what you're doing. You know, there's, there's a lot of good bands, like in the in the Tri-County area, there, right. there's some pretty good bands uh, happening. Yep. So on any given year, you know, there, there's a lot of bands that could take that. So um, I'm going to ask George if he can pull up a picture uh, one of those pictures there is a picture of uh, uh, the Boomers. Uh, it's one of those. That, yeah, that's picture right there. It's uh, the three of you guys. So tell us who's in who's in the band, and maybe you guys have a website or something people can go to. Yeah, we do have a, a, a Facebook page. Love the Boomers. Uh, you type in "Love the Boomers," it'll take you to our page. There's, there's some live videos there. Uh, our schedule. Um, and, and just different current events to, to keep you up to date with what, what we're doing and what we're going to be doing in the future. Which is? Uh, well, we're going to be doing, uh, we do an outdoor concert series uh, out near Harrisburg uh, at a vineyard. We, we've done this uh, for six years. Uh, it's like a wine and cheese fest with wine. Uh, we do a lot of and outdoor cheese? things. Wine and cheese, yep. And we, we do a lot of outdoor things in the summer that, that obviously with the, the way the weather is here in the winter that we can't do. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be doing a, an event in Johnstown called Thunder in the Valley. It's It's been running for over a decade here. It's a, a very big event uh, for Johnstown. Uh, draws a lot of people. It's a, an economic boost to the area. Uh, we'll be playing the uh, Thunder in the Valley um, job on Sunday. Uh, just a lot of things we do in the summer that uh, outdoors, that, that, that website will keep you up to date on that. Cool. If you're looking at that picture with the uh, the logo behind us on the glass, yeah, okay. Uh, from left to right, uh, on the left is our drummer John Stevens, okay, and uh, Bob on the chair that looks like uh, Weekend at Bernie's. Yes, he does. Yeah, he <laughs> he um, he's lead vocals and bass, mm -hmm. and then I'm on 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 the right. Clearly, you're the best looking guy in the band. Clearly, oh, really. Yeah. Man, man, you ever get those cataracts taken care of? <laughs> hey, Dave, that was fun playing with you, man. You know what? I want to, because, you know, this is my show and I could do whatever the hell I want to do. <laughs> I want to play some more music with you right now. And I don't want to do anything that we tried before. I just want you to make something up or some chord pattern or maybe even a cover tune, Little Wing or anything that you want to play. And I'm going to follow you for like, I don't know, until you get tired. Not too oh. long. Okay. <laughs> Well, everybody does it. Yeah. Thank 
Nice. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I I always play a Strat out, and, and for some reason, the Tele seems to track better for this kind of stuff. So, mm-hmm. so uh, what's the difference between a Strat and a Telecaster? You know what? Let's let Char Fromhoff answer that question. <laughs> uh, Rick, you're, you're just so bad. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll catch hell for that later, and nobody else will know what that means. But uh, all those, poor Dave didn't try to teach... Char Fromhoff, the difference between a Les Paul and a Stratocaster. But to get her to go from a Stellacaster to a Stratocaster, that's no, this is not going to happen, right? Oh, boy. You know, that's, that's, that's a sign that sometimes we have too much time on our hands. <laughs> uh, hey, let's play another one of those cool songs there. Um, speaking of, um, I'd like to explore the Dave Nichols' sense of humor uh, while you play, which is something that I've always enjoyed because your sense of humor comes out in the way you play the guitar and 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 people feel that and you know it's great to play uh literally blues and all that but when you can play something that makes people laugh that's that's tough to do don't you think yeah you know vince made a uh when i first started putting that's vince his, buffa by the way vince, vince buffa was I'm supposed sorry, to be yeah, calling vince, in but he's not going to call in because he's yeah crazy. vince vince <laughs> buffa made a, a an interesting observation when I when I first started putting these videos on, of course I didn't sing at all, and I'm and I'm still really, you know, not that confident with my voice. I'm getting a little better, but I'm still not there yet. But I used to do all all instrumentals, and and there would be a lot of humor in them. Mm-hmm. And and he once said that, you know, I bet people didn't hear this phrase or that phrase be, because of how funny everything else was, mm-hmm. and it made me think. Uh, there's a, there's a fine line there where I like to do that because I, th- I think Jeff Beck has a lot of humor in his playing when he wants to. Yeah, yeah, but he does. There's, there, there's a fine line there where you 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 kind of as good as Weird Al Yankovic is, you don't want that moniker to kind of you know the the parodies he the the Weird Al does are brilliant. Yeah. But for my own self, I don't want that to be. Stick. I want people to recognize, you know, if there's a humorous bit well, in it. I don't really know too many people that actually have that uh, element in their style of playing. And I don't mean just because they're funny guys. I mean people that play something that makes you laugh. That that just doesn't happen, you know, unless... Oh, yeah, and, and I, I enjoy that because uh, er, everything is so serious all the time. Mm. And, and I, I, I think playing is just an extension of your personality. I know we're going to get to a song later. Uh, it is a uh, Jeff Beck song, ironically, that uh, I covered for a friend that passed away. And uh, it, it, it was a slow tune call, called Because We've Been Just Lovers. Oh, yeah. Let's play and, that one. Uh, and I had I had a rough time uh, because it was, you know, around the time he was ill and passed away. I had a, a, a very difficult time laying that down emotionally. Mm-hmm. Um, so... Just so, for disclosure, uh, music can run the gambit. I mean, it, it can it can be so heavy and serious that you can have a rough time getting through it. To, to actually yeah. play it, if there if there's a if there's a meaning be behind it, uh, especially of that magnitude. Yeah. Well, do you want to play that one and then play a funny one? No, 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 no. Play. Go. Okay. So let's yeah. play that. Uh, you know, I think I'd like to play. Um, you were known for uh your performance with one of those horn uh you had a whole horn ensemble that would follow you and you'd play with them a lot what was the name of the horn ensemble again fistful o horns fistful o horns okay yeah. and the name of the song that you that we downloaded there uh quickly uh that had that featured fistful o horns was called what i think i think we used annoying tv themes 
Okay, let's play. That's a good one there because that shows. Uh, let's play Annoying TV Themes by Dave Nichols featuring Fistful O Horns. Fistful of horns back with me. What's up with that uh, ensemble? They just never listen to you, Dave. I don't know what the deal is. But guess what, Dave? You there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we have our friend Vince calling in. Uh, Is that you on the line, Vince Spuffa? And carnival (laughs) noises and Skypey stuff. I don't know what's going on. (laughs) It must be a hula house or something. I don't know what's going on here. Welcome, Vince Buffa. Hello, South Florida. Hello, Dave. Hello, Rick. Vince. Vince. Hello, Jimmy Iovine with the baseball hat. <laughs> That's George Rodriguez, by the way. He does look like that, though. <laughs> Vince, wonderful, wonderful to actually hear your voice, buddy. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you too. I've been watching the show. Unfortunately, it's it's kind of skipping on my computer. I don't know what the cause of that is. That would be George's what? fault, by the way. Uh, it's my fault. I'm doing that on purpose. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. George's fault. Oh. Uh, but uh, it wasn't that bad of a train wreck when you guys were playing together. I was impressed that it actually worked as well as it did. Cool. Yeah, me too. We were, we were real surprised. I mean, this is uh, history in the making for us, especially the three of us who have been friends since, uh, well, Vince and I, we've been friends since high school. And Dave, just out of high school, that's when we met Dave. And we've been playing ever since. And we actually have not spoken, the three of us together, uh, for at least 50, 60 years now, right, Vince? At least 50, 60 years, yes. <laughs> well, I was doing the math earlier, and honestly, I think it was 1981, maybe, something like that, 34 years ago. Damn. That's something, man. Yeah. That's right. Then uh, that, but, was, you know, that was in New York or I'm something. Sorry, go ahead. That was in New York, I think, wasn't it? Yes, it was uh, at my apartment in Soho. You guys came to see me, and Shaw was there too. Shaw came. Yeah, I love it, man. Now, we had a lot of uh, fun in Shaw's garage. Didn't we had, make some great yeah. music back then? What's that? I said we made some really great music back then. That was a big formative time of my life. Yes. Mine, too. And let's hear it for Char. Yeah. Char is, without Char or people like Char, there is there is no art because she has been nothing but supportive mm-hmm. and uh, just always has a kind word to say when I, when I re- put a video out on YouTube or something like that. She always comments. She always shares the video. Mm-hmm. And it really means a lot. So three cheers for Shar. Yeah, we're all, we're very lucky to have Shar in our lives. That's for sure. We we really are, especially me, since uh, we're partners in A and I here, and 
And that's why we're here in this radio show here is because she sponsors that as well. Yeah, we love you, Char. Yes, we do. You know, she's not listening to us right now, but uh, she'll have to listen later. Okay. What happened to Dave? Dave's there, right, Dave? Uh oh. Dave, did, you there? Did we lose Dave? Nah. George, if we lost. And press the right button. Oh, and push the Dave. right thing. All right. Well, we'll talk. To, we'll talk to you for a bit here. Um, we uh, played some of your music over the uh, over the air last week because uh, I know I tuned, I tuned in. Uh, I was supposed to call in, but I was at the doctor getting uh, an alien removed from the back of my head, <laughs> and. Uh, I came home and the show was already over. I appreciate you playing those songs and talking about it. Hell that yeah. was really cool. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you're you're still in the studio. Um, I always I wanted to talk to you about. Um, of course, we could talk. We're talking about electric guitar and the approaches to electric guitar and uh, our favorite guitar players and what kind of amps they use and all that kind of stuff. But another thing about my friend Vince here is that. Um, when you talk old school, Vince stays with old school. Would, would that be correct, uh, Vince? Uh, you don't use, like, Pro Tools or anything like that. Uh, what kind of stuff do you use for recording? Well, um, I use 8-track, half-inch tape. and uh, What's that, by the way? I always have for the past 20 years now, I guess. And, you know, I got pressured into trying to go digital a while back, and I made a half-hearted attempt, but... Uh, it was too complicated, and, uh, and whatever. I, I like <laughs> tape, and all my favorite albums were recorded on tape, so uh, that's it. Yeah. You know, one of my uh, favorite songs off of your uh, CD there, uh, well, actually, my favorite song is uh, one that is uh, kind of uh, explicit, but uh, I don't mind playing it because it's, uh, this is the radio, and it's internet radio, uh, is... Yes, we can. I can <laughs> yes, I can play it on the air. <laughs> oh, what's the fan of the rules? This is an internet radio yeah. show, so I don't have to censor myself? No censoring here, Vince. Really? That's right, pal. Yep, internet radio. We got radio. you now, you fuckers. That's right. I <laughs> <laughs> what we are you got gonna... you now. I kept thinking about that scene in Goodfellas when they're, they're about to make Joe Pesci, and De Niro says, uh, oh, we got him now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. Now. Mm. Yeah, that was a little disturbing. That scene. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, yeah man. You want to play that song, or uh, I mean, I'd love to play a song uh, from your uh, CD here. I know it's getting. I'd like to. And while we uh, maybe we could see if we can get Dave back while we play one of your songs. He's gone. He's uh, can I request, he's can I request a specific song? Yes, of course you may. I have your whole album here ready to uh, uh, ripped up. Got that. Uh, yeah, I hate that track, actually. Okay. Um, uh, can you play, how about a short one? It's called, uh, Always Never Knowing. I don't know what number it is. It's near the end of the album. I just had the videos you sent me. Uh-oh. I just had those videos you sent me. No, I, uh, the whole CD that you ripped. Oh. Previously? Okay, yeah, George yeah, is going to go ahead and, uh, because I know we, uh, we, uh, downloaded the songs from the CD. It might take him a second here to uh, check that out and look for it. His name? You mean yeah, Jimmy Eovine over there? Say again? <laughs> you talking about Sorry, Jimmy what? Iovine over there? <laughs> That's right. What was the name of the CD? It wasn't ready for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See? Uh, yeah, yeah, always never know. I just have all these, vid all these videos phone. you sent me. <laughs> now, what was the name of the CD? That uh, It was called Rosa, right? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Let's yes, see. Yes, sir, can, Your Honor, sir. Let's see if we can pull that up real quick here. We got you now, you bastards. <laughs> oh, can I do some shout outs? Yeah, go ahead, man, while we're looking for it. Well, you know, there's a couple of guys that we went to high school with oh, who yeah. we're still in touch with on Facebook uh -huh. uh, Gary Bouchard, mm. uh, Mike Pearson. Wow, I remember him. Uh, Matt Colias, who's otherwise yeah. known as Christian Alexander. Yeah, Matt, yeah, I love that guy. Uh, Debbie Denise, who used to be the singer of the Chicklids. Yeah, Chicklids, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, she's great. Uh, that's, that's all my shout outs. All right, what, cool. what track number? Okay, uh, which track number was that? Because I guess you don't have the um, names of them on there. I don't have the names. We ripped it out. You say it's like the second, or do you remember which number it was there, Vince? Oh, you mean that really crazy one? No, it's not that one. That's my favorite. That's the one we played. We played this guy. Yeah, we did. We played you. Yeah, you're you're played. As a matter of fact, you know, you're on a regular rotation here on SoFloRadio.com. You know That's that, right. Vince? Okay, let's get that song he wants to play, though. Uh, what, what, what's, what's, yeah, what track number? Can you tell me what track number it is, Vince? In LA without a dog. Oh, uh, I think it's one of the last, like, uh, oh, no, 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 no. That's not it, is it? There it is. All right, let's play. All right, let's that listen to this. Vince Buffalo, ladies and gentlemen. This is just a secret to the movie when I'm dreaming Underneath the sky or water Which is drowning all the nighttime stars Flashing calls with trumpet sound Allowing you to hide your sleep But still I think of what it's like To be alive inside of this Protective shell of fleshy glove With thinking chips occasionally Seen crying for his mother's hell The doctors spin up roaring Through the hallways of convention Not to mention octopus's arms And take your money cause your arm When you bend down to tie your shoe Feeling has no meaning than the knowledge of convention Feeling has no meaning than the knowledge of convention Feeling has no meaning than the knowledge of convention Feeling has no meaning than the knowledge of convention Cool. Nice, Vin. All right, we got Dave back. Yeah, something happened. I, I can't. Can you see me? No. Okay. Nobody can see you, Dave. It, it's okay. Yeah. Vince <laughs> knocked your video off. Oh, uh, that's what it was. George is blaming Vince now because we kept pounding it's on It's all him. Vince's fault. It's Vince's fault now. And for that Bro, song. I, I'll get you, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is great. I can't believe I got my two uh, most admired uh, musicians on the planet on my radio show here. With my old fretless moon bass in my hand at the same time, man. This is awesome. Hey, Vince, you got your guitar? You want to play some music or what? Well, the thing about it is, um, I'm not going to be able to hear you guys. Well, that's okay. We're not going to play with you. You want me to just uh, play by myself? Yes, sir. I want you to play with yourself on the radio. That's what the show is all about. (laughs) (laughs) There's no censoring on this show. All right, let me plug this thing in. Go ahead and talk amongst yourselves for about 30 seconds. All right, tell us what kind of guitar you're going to be playing here because you're a little bit too old school for Skyping, right? It was it was like uh, pulling teeth to get the Dave to Skype, but he did. He's Skyping, so maybe yeah, next time. You threw me off like, like yesterday's news. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very proud of you guys for Skyping. <laughs> so what are you playing what are you going to play, and what kind of guitar is it, uh, Vince? I was hoping you weren't going to ask me, because it's actually a $20 thrift store guitar with no knobs or anything, but okay, that's great. for some reason, I go to guitar. All right, let's go. This is uh, Vince Buffalo, ladies and gentlemen, live from Georgia. Give me one second here. Oh, he's got a tuned guitar. All right. This is a first for SoFlo Radio, by, by the way. We got three musicians in the same room Skyping, and they're not in the same place, not even in the same state. Well, maybe two and a half. I count myself as a half musician. Uh, hey, yeah. hey, Rick. Yes, sir. Tell me if you can hear this. Yes, sir. We hear, hear that? that. George, you hear that? We all heard it. You're good to go, and so does all my gigantic audience. They hear it too, Vince, so go for it, man. Okay, South Florida. This is Vince Buffer. 
and I'm going to play some guitar in the key of E. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's a twenty dollar guitar. Come on, that sounds pretty cool. Well, yeah, it's called a Dixon. Hey, Rick. <laughs> yes, yes, Dave. You know what? He he paid like around thirty two for that. Ah, uh-huh. <laughs> see, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can get a Dixon for twenty bucks. Come on, Vince. Yeah, okay, it was thirty two fifty. Ah, see? All right, see? You know what? I'm, I'm glad I'm not on video because he makes these comments about my hair, and it, it takes me about two weeks. <laughs> it takes me two weeks to come out of my room to even play a single note. <laughs> well, have you ever seen his hair in these videos? It blows in the wind. He's got a special fan. Yeah, it's a fan. It lays down perfect on his forehead. Yes. <laughs> he is. It, it's out of control. <laughs> it's it's planned that way. Vince. You know what? Like like what you talking about, Willis? I mean, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man, I need a two hour show now that I got you guys up and running here because it looks like it's like uh, almost over here. Let's uh let's all three of us jam. What do you say? Uh, why don't we have a jam session together right now? Can we do that? Is that absolutely yeah, possible? Sure. Okay. Since I'm tuned to like uh, uh, the ozone here. This is going to sound great. <laughs> it is. All right. We'll just let you know since um, I don't know if you can hear us or even if you did, it's you're playing at a different time. But let's just do that uh, a blues in A. Is that is that okay with you, uh, Dave? A is that like on the second fret? That, yeah, a, yeah. Ask Vince. I, I got my hair. My hair's in my eyes. I can't even see what the hell I'm doing. On my guitar, the, the A is probably around the sixth fret today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to start it off, and you guys come in, and then we're going to end it, okay? Yeah, give us some moon bass in A, Rick. Yeah, moon bass, buddy. Go. That's good right there since uh, 
I didn't really get to hear any of you guys play or anything like that. But you know what? We did it. We did it in spirit anyway. Uh, what what awesome. time tomorrow, Rick? <laughs> 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 uh, were you guys thoroughly confused by that or what? I mean, what did it oh, sound no, like? Not me. No, uh, I mean, I'm no, no more confused than I normally am. <laughs> well, <they're... laughs> oh man. So, uh, Vince, um, what have you been doing lately? I mean, I've been trying to get a hold of you for days, and uh, you said you've been in a recording studio because, as you say, these songs don't record themselves. Is that right? Right. Has that for a snarky comment? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something your dad would say, or anybody's dad would say. Well, I, you know, it's always about the next song, and I'm on to the next song, and I'm excited about the next song, mm -hmm. and that's it. Uh, hey, hey, Vince. Yes, Dave. What, I'm telling you, you know, you nailed me with, uh, and I know it's an older one, but when when you sent me, when I heard Bad Hair, uh, <laughs> you know, the falling off the ladder, you don't care, and all those lyrics... I, I, that to me just was still brilliant to me. I just, Thank I, you, Dave. I just I, I absolutely loved loved that whole thing. It was such a great great visual with that with really good music. So it was very cool. Thank you, Dave. That means a lot. Yeah, man. I keep hoping your, your your country alter ego would would cover it one day. <laughs> <laughs> What's that guy's name? Oh. uh... Clyde, 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 yes, yeah, Clyde, Clyde and McFadden. You people McFadden. need to check out Dave's Dave's music on Fandalism. He's got loads and loads of videos and yeah. songs. They're all great, mm -hmm. great guitar playing. Uh, every time there's a new one, I just immediately go listen to it. It always brightens up my day. Mm -hmm. Dave Nichols, Fandalism. Yep, and check it out. Yes, sir. You know, you know what. We've been talking for years about, you know, I know you're in Georgia and, you know, Rick's down there. And uh, we really, really need to get together down down in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, in the garage. Yeah, we, we really do. No matter, I, even if it's to eat a hamburger and play a bunch of A chords, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. we, we need to kind of hook up again. Yeah, man, let's make a point of it. Are you in for that, Vince? Sure, I'm in for it. I'll come up and get your ass if you can't drive down here. <laughs> I still owe Rick $100 for his 1965 Rambler that I bought from him. What was the name of that car? We named it, too, right? It was Bob. Bob. Bob the car. <laughs> <laughs> Which you stole from me. I think it was me. a picture of uh, me, Dave, and John R Rogers sitting on top of the, that car, actually. Oh, oh, my gosh. That is awesome. I can see the Was that the car you're talking about? Yeah. I oh think my. so. I think that was it. Yeah, we were at the, outside the warehouse. Right, and you're wearing your Buffers Bozos something T-shirt. Yes. Didn't you drive yeah. that car all the way up to New York with uh, no water in it or something like that? You would stop every exit and throw water on the engine just to get it to go further up to the next exit? Uh, no, those, those were the days. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Correct, sir. Oh, man. Well, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, I'm just about out of time for this uh, show here, guys, and... Um, I got to tell you, this this is one of my most memorable. If this is the most memorable show that I've had, uh, and I really appreciate you guys both calling in, and I hope this makes a turn or a change for the show here for the better, so that I can get more friends calling in, playing guitar or, or bass or something over the internet, just trying new things on the radio here. Uh, so, guys, you know, anything else you want to say before I have to, you know, close it out for the evening? Yeah, well, a couple things real quick. Vince, uh, man, you sound terrific, as always, and I, I wish you the best, and I, I desperately want to see you again. And uh, and I look forward to your stuff just as much. And, Rick, uh, very generous of you to offer up so much time to us and, and, and welcome us to your show. Are you uh, kidding? You're the same guy I met, like, 
20, 30 years ago. You haven't changed a bit, so don't ever change. Uh, I love and you, Dave. I, I love, uh, just thanks for having us on, man. Absolutely. You guys are my... Well, Dave, Dave, if, Dave. Yes, sir. Dave, if you yes. look closely, Rick is a little bit fatter now. <laughs> you don't have to look too close. <laughs> well, Vince, I mean, not, not to be crass, but I didn't have to look that close. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, they're the bottom. Just wow. Oh, and on that note, folks, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say thanks to you guys. I love you. Uh, Thank you. I'll uh, be in touch. All right. Yes, you definitely will. And I'm going to send uh, this blog out here, a uh, link so that everybody can see this and we can share it with each other and our friends. And uh, I look forward to talking to you guys real soon and us having in that reunion down here. All right. Absolutely. All right. I want to say at the bottom of my heart that I love you guys. Uh, hey, I, lo I love both you guys, too, man. Thank you so much. Love you guys, too. All right. Well, that's it for Rick's show on the radio, one of my favorite. This is down to my best here. Thanks, George, for uh, coming in. We're going to go out with one of the one of the, uh, Dave's videos. Oh, great. All right. We'll do that. Uh, this is some Dave Nichols. So, everybody, just listen. Uh, support local music. Art is has value. All right? So uh, support your local musicians, your friends, and uh, give them money or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go back. Give me some money. Yeah, give, <laughs> yeah. give it some money, please. All right, we're going to listen to a little bit more uh, stuff from Dave Nichols here. You can find him on Vandalism. And this is it for Rick's show on radio on SoulFlowRadio.com. Good night, everybody. Oh.